Good morning, me hearties, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our live stream this Monday morning. Excellent stuff. Start of another week. Nothing gets past me. And lovely to have every single one of you with us. So welcome, 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 I say. This is great stuff. And uh, I hope all is well. We had a super pop-up last night. Slightly uh, different time change. Her Majesty the Queen was addressing the nation at 8 p.m. And we normally would have started at 8 p.m. But last night I decided to go from 8.30 to 9.30. So you'll be able to see that broadcast on your Facebook pages. And welcome, 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 I say. Lots of you joining me. This is what we like. A very good morning to you. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. During the quarantine and the lockdown, we will be joining ourselves, every single one of us, that you can possibly muster at 10 o'clock sharp weekdays, Monday through until Friday. So there you are. So do join me. There's John Robertson. Hi, Scotty. Hi, John. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us and good to have you on the live stream. So much happening. My goodness, so much to discuss today and so little time to do it in. Time really does fly when you're having fun and we always have fun on here. So if you want a bit of an escape from everything that's going on, if you want just some normal chit chat with lovely warm human beings, you've come to the right place. Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue, live streaming on Facebook Live just for you. Welcome, welcome. Andy Simpson has joined us. Good morning, Andy. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome this Monday morning. Dinky Doo Scotty says, Jack, good Jack. Lovely to have you with us, Jack, down in Guruk there. Is that right? Guruk or Greenock, Jack? Um, so there you are. I know it's one of these fine places. Anyway, and a very warm welcome. Jack joins us also when we do live streams on YouTube. So there you are. But I think um, over here we're getting a more mature attitude from a lot of people. So Jack's joined us here. You on the radio yet, Scotty? Not yet, John Robertson. It, uh, it'll take a little bit of chit-chat, I think, at the moment. Radio's kind of in lockdown as well, so they're using what you'd call skeleton crew. Uh, there you go, Jeff Bernstein. I should be on radio. I should be on national radio, public service broadcasting. Good morning, Scotty McClure, says the wonderful Kareem Zakaria. Good morning, Kareem. Lovely to have you with us. What's that behind you, Scotty? Is that a big spider climbing down your wall? No, Mark, that is a portrait presented to me. So there you are. Jeff Bernstein. Morning, Scotty. Hope you're well. James McDonald, Dinky Doo. Or were you being funny there? <laughs> Silly me. Uh, John Gallagher's watching. Welcome, John. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClure. And we are live. Big style. Now, I'll need to start the sharing right away, I think. And just let people know that we're on and that it's all happening here. So there we go. You can also do your bit. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Send this round. Everyone, if you've got a Facebook account, you should be watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, right now. Right the new. There's Jane Garden joined us. Welcome, Jane. Lovely to have you with us. All these clever, sensible people joining Scotty McClue for a bit of information, entertainment, and education. That's what you get. What you see is what you get. Fantastic stuff. So welcome to you, Jane. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. I'm just going to start the sharing right away, guys, because then folk will know we're on. So I'll go into the big Scotty McClue page, and I shall share to that, and that will let everyone know we're started. Scotty, good morning. Scotty, can you not start your own radio station, says Michael Clark. Well, twice, 30 years ago this year, I started Central FM, or Central Sound Radio as it was then, in Central Scotland, the third radio station for Central Scotland. You had Clyde in the West, you had uh, Fourth in the East, and um, then I also um, had uh, another radio station, 
up till about 10 years ago, but we had a serious stewardship problem with that. So there we are. So there we go. That was what was happening there, a stewardship problem, uh, to say the least. The wonderful Gordon Roddick is watching. Good morning, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up. What's your thought on the Scottish Chief Medical Officer um, resigning? Well, I kind of thought they have a saying that nobody is indispensable. The problem I have is we are now without a chief medical officer at perhaps the most crucial time in the medical clinical history of this nation. So there we go. I don't know who was the chief medical officer during the Black Death the bubonic plague, the Spanish flu. Um, you know, we need to check all that up. But during the coronavirus, our chief medical officer for Scotland has, as far as I understand it, done a first class job. She visited her second home in uh, what seemed like Fife. And, um, she was telling everybody to stay in their house, but she was out and about. And uh, obviously somebody um, twigged this and it got back. She, last night, the situation when we popped up last night was that she had apologized profoundly and profusely to everybody and uh, said that she did make a foolish mistake. Now it would appear that she has gone, she has resigned, and um, it does mean that we are now without a chief medical officer for Scotland. So there you are. So that makes me anxious. Sometimes you can cut off your nose to spite your face. Uh, did you hear, Scotty, that the gamers are now spreading uh, COVID-19 safety messages to youngsters like myself? I am delighted, Jack, that we have got so much responsibility going on in the country. Fantastic. Chris Spars is watching. Jason Cunningham. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Just going to do a bit of sharing, guys, and let everybody know. And if you could do the same, right, very, very important. We had a great result last week. Over 15,000 of you joined us over the course of the week. So that's pretty good. Any radio station would be pretty chuffed to have 15,000 people. And we are doing it on Facebook Live. How brilliant is that? I'm just going to put join us now. Join us now. There we are. Wonderful. And I'm going to send this out, guys. There we are. Good. And that's going round. So if you can all keep the shading going during the pop-up, that'd be great. Jason Cunningham, welcome. John Marshall, a very warm welcome to you guys. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning. Welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. There'll be a lot of sleepy heads not joining us yet. So tell them, get their phones popping. Boop, 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 boop. Scotty McClure is live. Yes, wonderful. So there we are, just uh, putting this out to the nation right now, letting everybody know all the best of sharing. And as I say, if you could do the same, the wonderful Susan Forrest is watching in Lancashire. Welcome, Susan. Good morning. Monday morning, I say, nothing gets past me, you know. And there we are. And I'll just share again uh, in public just to let everybody know what's happening. And we'll keep sharing to the pages. Excuse me a wee second. Very, very warm in the studio, as you'd expect. Quick, uh, quick knock down. There we are. Wonderful. Now, I did send you all a beautiful church service um, from uh, St. Ninian's Church in Dundee yesterday for Palm Sunday. So have a look at that. Scotty, hiya, love. And hiya, Christine Garvin. Are you all right, Angel? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo. Make sure you tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get that going round there. Wonderful. And uh, I'll give you a wee love on here, Christine. See, we have ways of doing all these things. Look at that. Is that not fabulous? Cheryl Fields has joined us. Danny McNeil's watching. I hope you're well, Christine. Is everything dinky-doo with you? Susan Forrest says, good morning, Scotty, and a kiss. Good morning, Susan. And a kiss. Love to Lancashire. 
I see. Very, very important. Lots and lots of you joining us, guys. Get the sharing going. I shall keep it going here. Um, I'll share to another page. Um, just to let everybody know that we are live. You don't want to be missing out on a live stream like this. People then don't know they join us and they go, Scott McClure live. I missed that. I'd have loved to see that. Yes, absolutely. Sharing to another page. Very, very important. There we go. Just share to another page. Let everybody know what is what and get them to come and join us right now. I shall share to Scotty McClure, Global Radio and Television Producer. There we are. Marvellous. J-O-I-N-R-S-N-O-W. Exclamation mark. Or oh, that a bit over the top. Exclamation mark, guys. What do you think? I think exclamation mark. Yes, very nice. Exclamation mark. Good stuff. Oh, we've got a small end there. Right. So now, good. When I, um, what I shall do, folks, there we go. Uh, what I shall do when I am wealthy financially and wealthy life-wise, but when I'm wealthy financially, I'll get somebody in to do all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Um, I'm going demented. Oh, Christine, you and the rest of the nation. That's why I decided to do the pop-ups, because people are getting beside themselves and they're not getting normal everyday chat. So I thought, let's get the Scotty McClure pop-ups up. Kareem says, Scotty McClure, do you enjoy gardening? I'm not a fan, but I've ordered a hedge cutter. Good Kareem, what have you got? Is it uh, a capricious Lee Landi? Now, you be careful with that hedge cutter, because hedge cutters have got two things. They've got these blades. So you don't want to um, you know, make sure you keep your fingers well clear of them. And also be very careful of the flex, because the blades can cut the flex. If you're so busy hedge trimming, you don't notice where the flex is. Uh, Catherine Delaney's watching. Dinky do, Catherine. Lovely to have you with us. Some of my friends are wondering when you're going to get back on YouTube. We might do one today, Jack. When would be a good time for a live stream on YouTube? There we are. But I'd like a wee bit of a more mature approach. Do you know what I mean? I know it's uh, all very funny and everything, but I would like that. Did I bring a glass of water up with me? Yes, I did. Time for a refreshment. Morning, mate, says Craig Mitchell. I don't normally do meat, Craig. Mate's a word I would ban from the English language unless it was referring to a mitlo, somebody that you served at sea with. Mm. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? That's lush, that was. It's beautiful. Love it. Need outside chat. Christine, you've got to, you've got to meet normal people. Well, normal, you know what I'm saying. You've got to meet normal people and get the chit chat. Pal, Craig Mitchell, good morning, pal. We like that. Excellent. Because do you not agree that meat is the thing? And have you noticed that the news hounds are still saying well at the start of everything? Drive you up the wall. What do we think of the Chief Medical Officer for Scotland resigning? So there we are. Let's uh, talk about that. Also, I had is a bit of an extreme thought, but I saw some social media of a guy arguing with a policeman on his bike. Uh, someone no one's thought about. Every guy's getting crew cuts now. That all the barbers are shut. Absolutely. Well, law law says Christine Garvin. Absolutely, Christine. Right, more sharing, more sharing. Come on, I want these figures up. Too many lazy people in their bobos not getting up and joining Scotty McClure. Tut, tut, tutity, tut. We'll share to the story. That might uh, waken a few people up. I say Royston Mayo's watching Dinky Doo, sir. I bless you. You could not have a finer fan or a greater fan of your work going away back. Absolutely away back. So there we are. And uh, wonderful to have you with us. A privilege. Uh, Robert Rovers, Dinky Doo, 
And uh, Royster is probably one of the finest television producers I've ever seen. So there you are. There's a fact for you all. Stuart Gray, Dinky Doo, Jack says, I would say 5 p.m. sometime later tonight. This is for a pop-up on YouTube. Um, it'd be a good time for the live stream, says Jack. Jack, I'll take your steer on it. So there we are. Jack is a teenager and a very sensible, mature teenager who enjoys watching the pop-ups. Lisa Tarras, good morning. Lovely to have you with us. Molly Scotty, dinky do. I made it, says Robert Rovers. I know. One or two people are still in their bobos. So I'm just going to be telling them right now what's going on. There we are. Uh, I'll share to a group this time, guys, and uh, let everybody know what's happening. Um, Kareem Sakharaya, thank you for the heads up. I might send a picture of my hedge before and after what I decide to do with it. Well, beach hedges, if it's beach or copper beach, then probably once a year would sort that. But that's, I'm not sure that is a job for the hedge trimmer. Yes, well, beach is quite tough. And then you've got the lay land eye and the capricious lay land eye. Sort of fast growing stuff that you put around a lot of areas that you wanted to put screening up quite quickly. So areas that have grown up very quickly with gardens. Um, in the west of Scotland, you know, you've got uh, a lot of growth in Bishopton, in Paisley, in Kilmarnock, in... Um, in uh, Bridge of Weir, in Johnston, in Greenock, you've got a lot of growth in Dumbarton, in Helensborough, in um, Bears Den, in Newton Mearns, all these kind of areas where people want screening quite quickly. They plant capricious Leylandi, which of course, if you don't maintain them, can get away on you and just go huge block out the neighbour's light, all sorts of things. So there you are. Wonderful Gordon Robertson has decided to join us. Welcome, Gordon, our resident grammarian. Lisa Terrence says, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Lisa. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. Oh, dear, I'm late again. Gordon, there is no punishment. There is no reprimand for being late, but it would help you to join us at 10 o'clock sharp. Uh, did you hear in the news about the line who supposedly has coronavirus? Coronavirus just shows that any animal could get the coronavirus. Oh, Jack, don't. So there you are. Alistair King is watching. Welcome, Alistair. And dinky do. <coughs> I'm just going to share, guys, to um, another group, one of the big groups here. I'll share to the Scotty McClue group first and let everybody know. What is happening? John Emery, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, John. Welcome. Aston McLean's watching. Welcome, Aston. Lovely to have you with us. So there you are. And um, right, this is it. Share groups to a group. There we go. This old computer takes time. When, uh, when I make it to the big time, National Radio, I'll get a faster computer, I promise. And uh, we'll get a lovable lassie of the big switchboard or a wizard of the big switchboard to do all this. And then I could just chat. Terrible news on the big cats. Absolutely, Christine. Frightening. So there we love our big cats. So there we are. The honest ones and the cheetahs. See what I just did there? I got a joke from Jack last week. So I decided to play my joker there. Right, got that. Scotty McClure Group of Fans live now. Join us. Here we go. Oh. Yes, you see, my producer could be doing all this. But you have to do it for yourself during lockdown, during the quarantine. There we are. Fantastic idea. Um, Gordon Stilling has watched as well. Done, Gordon. You managed to struggle up. Fantastic. So there we go. I know it's a bit sharp for you, but it's lovely to have you with us. So there you are. Is 10 o'clock the best time for everybody? Do tell. 
Stephen Mooney is watching. Thank you, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Guys, good news. 15,000 of you joined me last week over the course of the piece. So fantastic. Welcome. Thank you for all your sharing. And thank you for your support. Quick comfort break. Oh, there we are. Fantastic. Good to hear you're still using the joke, Jack. I'll be using the joke for the rest of my life. There we are. That's a great joke. Zai Kai Tang. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Zankai. Lovely to have you with us. Zankai Tang there is a, a scouser from Liverpool. Ah, oh, it's lovely to have you. But no, that's a bit jolly, that one, wasn't it? Ah, love the bones of you. Uh, Junior's watching in his own phone, Scotty. Good morning, Junior. Junior King. Dinky Doo. There we are. Uh, morning, Scotty. Do you think Prince Charles should resign after going to his holiday home, after ignoring government guidelines? Well, the Pr Prince Charles is the heir to the throne. You can't resign. There we are. And you can't abdicate if you're not actually the monarch, as far as I understand. Uh, I would need to check up my um, laws on, uh, on uh, the, the, the law of succession and all that. Morning, Scotty. So there you are. Morning, all. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. We don't want Prince Charles to resign. He's a great guy. Uh, GM Rogers, Gordon Robertson. Uh, ten's good for me. It gets the day off to a good start. Right, Gordon? If ten's good for you, that's good enough for me. Ten o'clock, okay with everybody, because at a push, if there was a more suitable time, we could consider it. We could put it to the vote. We could ask every day to tell 10 to tell 10. Monday's always a little bit slow because, yeah, oh, sleepy hurts, all that stuff. Uh, I like to get up nice and sharp. What did you think of the Queen's speech, says John Emery? Thought it was excellent, absolutely outstanding. And I looked at her and I thought, my goodness, she's 94 in a fortnight. 94. And she's as spry and as sprightly, absolute talking complete and utter sense. Wonderful. Uh, the last week over the course of the piece. Yes, over the course of the piece, P-I-E-C-E, -E, a piece of pie, over the course of the piece, over the piece, right, over the week. 15,000 of you just on this joined me and many, 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 many thousands more um, would be watching afterwards and all that sort of thing. Agnes is at almost fertile at 9.55. I think fecund might be a better word there, God. No, I'll have a think about it. We're trying to start another family. Yes, as far as I understand it, You'll probably just be starting another row. Um, joke, why does the washing machine... Why was the washing machine laughing? Oh, Christine. Yes, quite good, but maybe a little early in the morning for that one. Uh, he loves the show, Scotty. So uh, I've set him up an account. Excellent, Alistair. Welcome, Junior Dinky Doo, on your phone. Uh, Kareem says, it's the start of the Easter holidays. People might be off from work duties and have a longer line. I think so, Kareem. And not everybody knows about it. You see, the problem I have, you can do the finest show in the world. And without blowing any trumpets, I know, because I've been told by people in power, that this is an excellent program. And I know that if this went on commercial television or on public service broadcast television, it would absolutely clean up. Say we did a Friday night, 11 till 11.30, and 11.30 till midnight, Scotty McClue live. And we actually do it live, none of your pre-recorded stuff. See, one of the reasons Scotty McClure has been so successful is because we're not canned in the program. So everything's not absolutely just happening according to plan. We, we, we play it by ear. It happens as we go along. 
somebody once said to me, you must do a terrific amount of preparation for your phone-in shows. I said, I don't do any. I can't. How can you prepare for a phone-in show? All that I could do was build up as massive a knowledge database in my head, in my head, as, uh, as possible. And um, then you could deal with the calls. And we had no internet. So I couldn't look anything up in a search engine and go, here's your proof. You know, it's it's just nonsense. Uh, Ten's perfect for me, Scotty, as I wake up at 9.30. Oh, wonderful. We like that. Sorry, that was Junior trying out his messaging. Good, very good. Alistair Dinky, do big thumbs up. Hi from Perth in Australia, says the wonderful Melanie Gilmer. Melanie, put this around Perth. What have you got? Your river is the Swan. Is the river the Swan River? Where do I get the Black Swan from? Anyway, Perth in West Australia. Good morning to all our Perth people. What have we got for the people of Perth? Can we find something suitable? Yes. We'll put on a special hat for the people of Australia. Here we go. There you go. Uh, good day. Good day, Australia. Welcome, welcome. I've got my jackaroo on here because I'm welcoming you all. Oz, ah, fair dinkum and dinky doom. Excellent to have you with us in Australia. All right there. What about that, Melanie? Is that okay? Give us a thumbs up. I put on my jackaroo just for you, Mel. Fantastic. Alex Hall's watching. The wonderful Alex Hall, one of the country's finest broadcasters and actresses. Christine Garvin, dinky do. Sean Gowdy, dinky do. A very warm welcome, guys. If you're wondering what on earth you're watching, it's Scotty McClue popping up live on Facebook Live to say dinky do to every single one of you, particularly during this very, very difficult time, a time of lockdown, a time of solace, a time of anxiety for some people, all that sort of thing. And I think, no, 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 we need to pop up there and talk to each other. This is what we can do. So spread the word. Sean Gowdy's watching. If he misbehaves, uh, don't hesitate to tell him off and inform me, Scotty. Ooh, Alistair, we shall see. Gemma and Marie McRae is watching. Is that young Alistair or Alistair Senior? Dinky do, Scotty, a beautiful day to you. Can you say a good morning to my beautiful wife, Kerry Smith Fleming, who's currently making scrambled egg and beans on toast before going off to essential work this afternoon? Stop with the scrambled eggs and the beans on toast. McClure's drinking water. I'll have a wee bit of black pudding and uh, scrambled egg when I finish them. You've given me an idea. Jim Gallagher, dinky do. My mate's house got broken into Scotty. The burglars left him a loaf and a can of beans. Oh, Robert. There we are. Very difficult to know when I'm broken into because uh, apart from the fact they've tidied the place up a bit. Morning, Scotty, dinky do. Gemma from Condorit. Gemma and Marie McCree, welcome. Sean Gowdy, dinky do, Melanie Gilmer, yes, the swan. See, Mel, I'm not just an athlete, you know. I'm not just a black belt in karaoke. Thanks, did you like that, Mel? The hat just for you. Alistair King says, Alistair. Eleanor McKinnon, dinky do, Eleanor, lovely to have you with us, welcome. I'm angry at teenagers not getting it, going to girlfriends or boyfriends down the beach says Melanie. Is this down on the beach where you are, Mel, in Perth, West Australia? Uh, what PC do you have, Scotty? Oh, it's an old laptop. So there you are. An old, very slow laptop. I'll not mention the name. Uh, but I've got some towers, but I would need to put stuff on them. It's pennies, Jack. Very, very short of pennies at the moment with everything that's going on. So that's why we ask for just small donations at paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. And it just keeps everything going. I mean, over the years, over the piece, I have put thousands and thousands of pounds into radio stations. 
Hi, Scotty. Great to see you still cheering everyone up and putting a smile on our faces, says Eleanor McKinnon. Eleanor McKinnon, that is a privilege. I can't do much, but I can certainly cheer up the people of the world. And I don't think that's too much to uh, to ask of me. So there you are. So that's my tiny contribution while I'm isolating in a lockdown. Um, so there we are. It's Alistair Senior here, Scotty. He's been told just to watch and listen, not to message. He's on trial to see if he behaves. I'm sure he will behave because he is a chip off the old block. Can we all have a massive share right now? Share, 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 share. I'll just share right now. I'll share in public again. It means it pops up a couple of times, but so what? John Jones is watching. Welcome, John Jones. Thank you so much for popping up in the lockdown. She's put the let down. The lockdown. Gemma and Marie McRae. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did you see that the Chief Medical Officer from Scotland had actually resigned? I'm very much in two minds about it. Um, you know, I'm not banging any biscuit tins and stuff because, uh, you know, she did make a mistake, yes, but we are now without a Chief Medical Officer and a very competent and well-informed Chief Medical Officer. Dinky do from a sunny but quiet Edinburgh today. John Jones, yes, not a soul in Edinburgh. The last time I saw Edinburgh that quiet was on a flag collection day. Uh, Craig Cameron, Dinky do. How are we? Welcome, 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 I say. And uh, we'll give you a wee tune. I've got the mighty organist here. So we'll get a tune at some point on the mighty organ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're on a live pop-up to say dinky do to every single one of you. Now, if you've got a Facebook account, there's no excuse for not watching. So no lame excuses, no nonsense, please. Unacceptable. Sorry, meant lot down. Ah, no, I think you meant lock down. L-O-C-K. There we are. Gemma and Marie McCree, bless you. We're just working on the spelling, aren't we? Uh, did you see in the news that the government might ban outdoor exercise? Yes, I did see that. We all have the cruise ships coming in. We don't want to leave that lot on board with the virus that have the virus. Yes, we don't want to leave lot on board have virus. Uh, I think I get the gist of that, Melanie. Yes, absolutely. What do you think of the Chief Medical Officer breaking her own rules, Scotty, visiting her five holiday home? I think she did make a mistake, but it can't be condoned. She broke the rules. Listen, Alistair, I have to say I don't have a defence there. She broke the rules that she helped to set. Yes, and she's no longer doing the pop-ups on television. I'll offer to do the pop-ups on television. Would you like that? All your public information coming direct from Scotty McClue. You stay in. Yes, all that sort of stuff. You only go out for essential to exercise once a day, essential shopping or dog walking. Uh, did you see the FM and TV this morning? She looked shattered. Well, she will be, bless her. Personally, I think she's giving it 200% doing a fantastic job. Gordon Robertson, regardless of anybody's politics, Nicola Sturgeon is doing an outstanding job for the people of Scotland. She always has done, regardless of politics. And she is the envy of uh, all the other political leaders. They wish they had the poise and the control that she's got over her government and over the country over which she presides. How's your dog, Scotty? This is Gemma and Marie McRae. He's fabulous. Thank you so much for asking. A lot of tail wagging going on. Please do, Scotty, more informative than any political body. There you are. So I'll pop up on national television. I'll say, good evening. Tonight, I want to talk to you about your own safety and the safety of others. During the coronavirus outbreak, this virus 
is highly, highly dangerous. And I want every single one of you to be as safe as you possibly can be. If you have even mild symptoms, a cough, a temperature, discomfort in your chest, if your other organs are acting up or giving you a problem, you may have the coronavirus. If that's the case, stay in your house for seven days. The rest of your family must isolate themselves for 14 days before going out. So there we are. I'll give you all that, shall I? So there we go. Kareem Sakharaya. Uh, do you think Alex Salmond will be an MSP again? Well, he's been absolutely cleared. Um, so uh, it'd be interesting if he went back actively into politics. Uh, a wonderful politician. That would be wonderful to have you on the television, Scotty. So there we go. Dinky do, I say. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thanks for joining us Monday morning. Nothing gets past me. We've got about just over 20 minutes, guys. So let's use it well and use it wisely. Can everybody share? Yeah, very important. Everybody share. It's all in the sharing, guys. We want to get these figures up. I accept people might be having a bit of a lie-in. I've had those symptoms the last 20 years, so I wouldn't know. Well, I say to people, if I cough, don't panic because I've had a cough for 20 years. Steve Wilkie's watching. Wonderful to have him with you. So there you are. Should Scotty McClue do the public information announcements on your telly? There we are. Right. Contact the broadcasters and let them know. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm sharing to a group. If you can do the same, guys, that's a terrific help. Wonderful David Lafferty's watching. We all right, David? Did you get all that message last week? You seem to find it a little bit jumbled. Um, was it okay for Prince Charles to go to his holiday home? I think not double standards. Did the reporter um, get a slap on the wrist? Uh, so there we are. Well, John, um, Prince Charles... Uh, is the heir to the throne. And uh, he got up there and isolated. So he self-isolated. So, um, yes, he wasn't out and about, was he? So there you are. Martin Logie, dinky-doo, Mr. McClure. Good morning, Martin. Lovely to have you with us, Martin Logie. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo. I'm sharing to a group. So there we are. And I'll share to one of the Facebook groups. Now, we are, let everybody know that we are on. Because, as I say, you can have the finest pop-up show in the world. But if everybody doesn't know you're on, what would be the point? So there we are. So we need to get these numbers up. 15,000 of you joined me last week, guys. Well done. And Dickie's watching. Dinky do, Dinky do, Mr. McClure. This is Martin Loggy, Dinky do, Martin. Has everybody shared? So there we are. Live now. Wonderful. Live now. Oh. Fantastic. Right, that's gone off to one of the big groups. Jacqueline Trotter's watching, Dinky do. Uh, and Dickie's watching. And lovely to have you with us, Dinky do, from Scotty McClure. So there we are. And um, Gordon Stiddley. Oh, Gordon, for goodness sake, give it a rest. Uh, Scotty McClure, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Ah, Karim, I will be doing a lot of working, a lot of paperwork. I'm designing educational courses at the moment. I am um, also um, looking at other ways we can use social media to benefit the people. Uh, Gordon Robertson. You used to do the public inter-announcements on Scott FM, I did, such as instructing the girls to behave and advising their mothers to fit their daughters with stainless steel party pants with a strong padlock. Yes, very much public service. Scotty McClure has devoted his life to public service. Jenna and Marie McRae, have you watched the new drama on BBC on Sunday nights? about Glasgow. So say, 
Uh, what do you think of it compared to River City? Well, I haven't seen it because Sunday night, last night, I was doing my pop-up, Gemma. So there we are. So Scotty Glue is popping up. I do hope everyone abides by the distance rules so we can get back to normal life. I hate being grounded. Yes, but Alistair, remove the word hate because if you hate something, you're shutting off an avenue of learning. Now, you are autodidactic, you're a big learner, so look at the things that you can learn while we're being grounded. I think people will listen to you if you did a public announcement on the TV, says Sean Gowdy. Well, Sean, Scotty McClue is very widely trusted by the public, and quite right too. I don't have a second home, so and I will tell you it like it is so very, very important. So there you go. I think, yes, I think that this uh, is where Scotty McClue comes into his own. In times of trouble, the nation turns to Scotty McClue. Famous quote. Stuart Dickey's watching. Hi. Hi, Stuart Dickey. So there we are. Sorry, Anne Dickey's telling me that Stuart Dickey's watching. We like that. Well done, Anne. You can't beat Dobbin in your man, I say. Let us all know. Very important. Good for you. I remember you telling them to keep their hands on their hipnies, says Robert Rovers. Well, it's very, very sound advice. You know, and when people go, oh, is Scotty not a wee bit kind of old hat? And I say, no, Scotty is most certainly not a wee bit old hat. Scotty is more relevant now than ever. So there we are, Scotty McClue. Dinky do, how do you do? Scotty McClue. Um, there's that word again. Hang on. I'm going to have to do some investigation. So there we are. Absolutely. Uh, good morning, sir. Show's fantastic last night. All well. Hope you and Mrs. and family are well and the dogs. What about the Tigers in America catching COVID-19? Have a fab day. David and Paul. Dinky do. Uh, so there we are. Gap vehicle hire keeping the front line going. Well done, David La. Give you a mention there. Do you have plans to go back on the radio? I do, Craig, but I'm going to have to speak to some of the radio owners. You see, the problem we've got, radio has changed, not in its concept and its wonderment, but there's two big companies own radio stations, and obviously the purpose of them doing that is to make money. So what they've done is they've cut down all your DJs becoming personalities. So very few personalities in radio now. You think, who's on that radio station? What? I don't know. It's just a guy that tells you what's coming up next. So that sort of thing. And um, also social media. There is so much media about. I mean, for instance, last week, 15,000 people joined me here. Right now, you might not think that's massive compared with the quarter of a million that used to join me every half hour on the radio. But nowadays, most radio stations would be delighted to have 15,000 people join them because there are so many radio stations and so much media. Do you see how it works? So because it's a jukebox and it's all centralized, a lot of them are not even local radio stations anymore. So, you know... Uh, people say, yeah, if you're on a Glasgow station, don't, don't talk about Glasgow or anything like that, because you're also, remember, you're national, you're going out to Manchester and Liverpool as well. So it's that sort of thing. When I networked in the radio as Scotty McClue, I went out to Manchester, to Liverpool, to, um, to Middlesbrough. These were just the central cities, to Leeds, to Sheffield, to Hull, to <clears throat> down to Birmingham, to Newcastle, over to Preston, to Lancaster, um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Carlisle, you could hear Scotty McClue, and a wee down to Ayr when it was Central Scotland. But I told people we were joining all the radio stations together for the phone-in. You're absolutely right about radio these days, says Gordon Robertson. Well, when did you last hear somebody saying, I've got to tell you about this fantastic radio station? And that's what they used to say about Scott FM. They said it was a fantastic radio station. And it was, because it was all about fun, about entertainment, about information, about education, 
about great news presentation, about fantastic stories that you used to hear on it, talk shows, the phone-in, Robin Galloway in the morning with the breakfast show. It was enormous, you know, and then followed by Scotty McClure. So these were big, big moments, but it made the other radio stations very nervous because they didn't have Scotty McClure. So they didn't have the phone in, you know. So Scotty McClure had to be taken off air because other radio stations were really, you know, getting very, very anxious about the success of it. Fantastic. Wonderful. And, uh, you know, nowadays you don't hear someone going, oh, you've got to hear this radio station. It's brilliant. Uh, radio has changed for the worst. 24 hours of vacuous music stations. Read you back on the airwaves, Scotty, to give it a kick up the pants. Well, somebody said Scotty McClue gave radio the shot in the arm it needed. Amazing. And remember your first show on Scott FM. Gosh, Gordon Robertson, that was some night. And then it was only a week later we hit the 460,000 calls in a week. Shorted out the network for Central Scotland. Uh, that was, uh, those were the days, my friend. But it could all come back. You know, I mean, what you see is what you get. So this is what you'd be getting in the mornings from 9 o'clock till midday. And uh, we'd be cleaning up big style. But I'd also love to try out the television show for half an hour on, say, a Friday night or a Saturday night, would you be up for that? So you'd get this, what we're doing now, but live on your television screens. There we are. Do tell. Spill the beans. You're doing the same on Facebook. It's great. A shot in the arm, says Eleanor. Bless you, Eleanor. I almost cracked my ribs laughing that night. Well, Gordon, every person that came on, we had fun with. Neil Mills Jr., welcome, welcome. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Neil Mills Jr. is watching, it says. Very interesting. Wonder why that came up. Um, Gemma and Marie McClay, I loved We Fat Bob's phone in. Not heard about him these days in Scott. I loved you on Scott FM. Well, you see, I did the evening show on Scott FM. And everybody said to me, Oh, you'll not get many people listening to that. That's the graveyard slot. Radio late at night. And then we went on, and I think uh, we're joined by 80,000 people right away. So what about that? 80,000 a half hour listening at night. Then somebody said, we want to put you on in the mornings. I said, mm, well, if you can do the same as you did in the mornings, you know, because we're looking for an audience in the mornings. And uh, so I said, right, let's do it. The audience doubled. 160,000, 200,000, quarter million in the mornings per half hour. Oh, yes, Mr. McClue TV and the wireless. No disrespect, but I don't think this would work on the telly. You're a radio man. Radio is personal. TV is impersonal. Gordon. You are 100% correct, but let me extrapolate your vision. Do you like that vision? See what I just did there, television. Uh, television is impersonal at the moment. The second you put Scotty McClue on television, it personalizes it. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're looking at the situation now without thinking how that can change. Now, I get this all the time. When I first heard about Scott FM, people said, no, I don't think there's room for another radio. You see, we've got Radio Clyde and Radio Forth, and they're great radio stations, which they most certainly were, and uh, said they're great radio stations and said, I don't think you'd be able, I don't think. Now, that's, the person is actually articulating themselves. I don't think they're saying. And you could say to them, not meaning to be rude, no, you don't think. So when you think outside the box, you think, change it. So Gordon Robertson, you're a very brilliant man, but you've said television is impersonal. Now's the time to personalize it. 
Do you see where I'm coming from? And that will work 100%. Yes, or I'm a monkey's uncle. Well, there we are. Um, have you considered contacting Kingdom FM for a slot, Scotty? Starting up another show on your own. L107, says Neil Mills Jr. Fantastic radio station, Neil. But we did run into a stewardship problem. Hello, Scotty. What an inspiration you are, says Maria Law. Maria Law, so are you. Bless you. Uh, no disrespect, says Gordon. So, you, there's no disrespect at all, Gordon. I have massive respect for you, and I know you do for me. But you've got to think, can I change that? So when I was interviewed for Scott FM, they said, would you like to ask us? I said, yes. What's your power? Where are your transmitters sighted? You see? So these are the questions that I want to know. And then I can work out from that with the triangulation, with the power, what I can do for that radio station. Are you with me? Right? So they didn't know what I could do for them. And I couldn't tell them what I could do for them because at that point, I hadn't done it. And when I was setting up the radio station for Central Scotland, in the interview, they said to me, but you're quite confident you can do it. And rightly or wrongly, I said, no, but I'll do it. And I did. And it's still on AM Successful 30 years later in a few weeks' time. Mark Hams is watching, and it struggles. Businesses struggle. So there we are. So Alistair, no, I haven't spoken to Kingdom, but I may well love Top 107. Ah, oh, Top 107 was a great one. But again, you know, you've got to get things right. I think I was about the only person with Top Radio experience, and nobody ever asked me a question. You said Radio Clyde and Radio Forth were great, were great stations. Um, were they not so now? Oh, I'm sure, Gordon, you know, so I'm absolutely sure they're, they're good stations. I uh, used to love the callers going into complete meltdown. Quality radio, that's what made the interaction. Made it, yes, absolutely, Robert Rovers. Jack says, I was trying to find a share emoji, but couldn't find one. What a shame. So there, oh, we'll get one. Au revoir, Scotty. Take care. Au revoir, Jack. Um, bon chance. Have a very, um, a very bon matin, as they say. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends. Wonderful Dave Anderson's watching. Dinky do, Dave. Top man. Marry me, Scotty, says the wonderful Maria Law. What a gorgeous thing to ask, Maria. Thank you. So there we are. Um, to your um, sharing now, guys, can you remember Long Wave Radio, Atlantic 252? That was a fantastic radio station, Kareem. It was based in a, a tiny, tiny little village in Ireland. And I think the young jocks used to get a bit sort of get the cabin fever, you know. <laughs> but it was a fabulous radio station, great music. Uh, I meant Clyde Forth are not great in my humble opinion. Again, if you think what's going on there, uh, you know, there's the wonderful Donald John McDonald. Good morning to you, Kamra Ha'u, Hakamachi. And um, I think what was, uh, was happening then is difficult to what's happening now. So it's very difficult. Pardon me a second. Oh, quick comfort break. There we are. Quick mop down, guys. Absolutely. Uh, you haven't changed one bit. How scary is that? Neither of you, Donald John. You're still an absolute top man. Wonderful. Lovely to hear from you. Um, I'm an LBC in talks as Gordon Robertson. Yes. Now, I mean, they've been doing very well. Um, and they had Nigel Farage on. Now, whether you're a, a fan of Nigel Farage or not, uh, that doesn't matter. He was doing an excellent show on LBC. I have to say, and also the wonderful um, Gordon Robertson, Radio Listen Now. You're Radio Listener Now. You're a radio listener now, Gordon. Is that what you say? 
Um, there's uh, no good because Scotty's not on them. Well, I did say, people think it's blowing trumpets. It's not. There's no arrogance involved. Remember, I am the world's most humble man. Um, so there you are. But um, what you've got with radio now, you've got so much media that they've had to alter. Um, it might have been best just to stay. So there we are. But uh, I remember saying, if you're starting a new television or radio station, and we've had a new, we've had two new television stations start, and uh, a couple of new radio stations start, and I said, your first call should be to Scotty McClure. So there we are, even for a chat. Dinky do, says Ryan Hamilton. I remember listening to you with my mummy when I was wee. Ryan Hamilton, dinky do. So there you are. There's a Anas Hassan is watching. Anas, lovely to have you with us, top man. Uh, I like listening to Pure Radio Scotland at the moment. I'd love it if you join them, says Karim Zakaria. Oh, Karim, I would need to be invited. LBC and Talk Radio, I listen to now, says Gordon. Right, Gordon, interesting, yes. So you're in central Scotland, but you're listening to a London-based radio station. Very interesting. That's There's no criticism implied there. It's just very interesting. Ryan Hamilton, too much advertising on radio nowadays. Yes. I mean, I was watching a movie the other night, and it was a superb movie, but every, probably every 10 minutes, there was a five-minute advertising break, you know? Very, very strange. Carol Morris is watching, and I'll tell you what you get a lot less of now. Because you're getting a lot of public service announcements, public service advertising, um, what, uh, what you're getting is a lot of serious adverts. So people, you know, come on, and, and I know they're very important, but they're about terrible, debilitating diseases and tragedy and everything. Flick through your television stations, and I'll guarantee there's either tragedy, crime, murder, darkness. Yes? So nothing that will make you feel good. Very interesting. You're right, Scotty. Radio used to be full of characters. Well, we talked about who we listened to and why. Oh, I love so-and-so in the morning. I mean, Terry Wogan, I have to say, I I couldn't see past Tell. Love Tell. Used to listen, and then he was followed by Jimmy Young. Now, I know the two of them have uh, have moved on to the next big studio. They're on to their next gig. Um, and, you know, they'll be quite elderly now, but outstanding broadcasters. Ray Moore in the morning on Radio 2, remember? <laughs> and a cough, Ray. And he used to say, on the rattlers this morning. At night, do you remember Derek Jimison Ward? Do they mean us? What's going on here? I could write a better, I could write a better headline with my hands tied behind my back. He used to do the paper reviews. Let's be honest, the adverts work in radio. I all, let's be honest, do the adverts work in radio? I always forget them. Well, I say to people, if you've got a business, come to Scotty McClure and I'll do your voiceover. Then you'll probably actually sell something. Because people will say, hi, you know the one, that's got a dinky do. And uh, there we are, L lots of funeral ads. Yes, that was a new thing, Melanie. And if you go over to Ireland, they do the, um, they do the deaths on the radio. So they say who's passed away on the radio. I think in this country, you either can't do it or you weren't allowed to do it. But also lots of ads for funerals and things like that. And who's going to pay for your funeral? But I'm going to leave an interesting thought with you. If I pass away and leave zero money, as is a big possibility, are they going to leave me unburied or uncremated? All right. Are they going to leave me unburied or uncremated? Interesting thought, isn't it? So there's one for you there. I've got lots of interesting thoughts for you. Another one is they're doing all the coronavirus testing, but what have you got infected just after you'd had the test? What have you got infected 
by the person testing you. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I thought Ray Moore was brilliant, says Gordon Robertson. Ray Moore was brilliant, wonderful. Did he not also do Come Dancing and stuff? Neil Mills Jr., I loved Mike Dickin. Mike Dickin was another outstanding broadcaster. So there you are. Uh, Karnak McCusker, I think Mike took a heart attack. Didn't he? Scotty, you could have been a comedian. The next, Billy Connolly. Al Alistair, I outsold Billy with my video at the time. It's all over the national news. Uh, Nikki Graham's watching. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Nikki. So there we are. Somebody said to me last week, you couldn't lace the big one's boots. I said, no, perhaps not, except when it comes to selling videos. So there you are, Steve Allen. But I send Billy lots of love and strength. Top man. Steve Allen on LBC is great. It's only him and the guests. No music, no phone-ins. There, I remember listening to Tiger Tim. Tiger Tim, another outstanding broadcaster. But do you see what you've just said there? I remember listening to Tiger Tim. So you were listening for the massive personality of Tiger Tim. Yes, excellent stuff. So that that absolutely speaks volumes. When you were listening to Scott FM, you didn't say, I must turn on Scott FM. You said, I must put on Robin Galloway in the morning. I must go and listen to Scotty McClure. So do you see how it's the personalities that actually sell the station? And they don't understand that. Um, dear Jimmy Gordon, who's a wonderful character, and he's really the father of commercial radio in Scotland and one of the founding fathers of commercial radio. And um, he was talking with Alex Dixon, his programmer, one day, and he said about assets, the station's assets. And Alex Dixon looked out the window and he pointed to one of the jocks walking out and said, your assets walk in and out of this station every day on two legs. So they are <laughs> fantastic. So that was it, the pronouncers. Uh, low performance, what's going on here? There we go, wonderful. Uh, I've got a little thing telling me about low performance. I was just seeing we're plugged in. Scotty, I'll see you, Dinky, doing a good day. Listen tomorrow to your pop-up at 10. Fantastic. Uh, Gordon used to listen, but uh, is so repetitive. All about me, me, me. So there we are. Uh, Ian McAlpin. Morning, Scotty. Has Nicola been in touch with you regarding any advice on keeping the Scottish public at home while we're in the midst of... COVID-19 in McAlpine. We were just saying this morning, Scotty McClure should be doing the public information films on television. So there we are, just popping up and telling the nation, I'll put on my dark suit. I can be very serious when I want to be. If you ever want an example of that and you go on to YouTube, you will see the broadcast I did after the Manchester bombing. So YouTube, Scotty McClure, Manchester, and you will see that I can be extremely serious when required, when what, when the situation demands it. So there you go, and that situation demanded it. So there we are. Right, well, how are we doing for time? I shall have to go, everybody. Have a wonderful day. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. The goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of it or zane, au revoir and cheerio. Do you know what, everybody? Have a gorgeous day. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. Dinky-doo.